What is going on everybody? So I'm gonna try to do a video. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And uh, now we're getting kind of late in the evening a bit. I've been waiting to come feed, but as you can tell, the wind chimes are going crazy. The wind just won't die down. Mr. Mo don't even like it, do you? He says, oh, it's the breeze, Dad, but I don't like it uh, making all the noise it's making. It sure is loud. Well, I'm fixing to feed you, okay? You want to go eat here in a minute, Mo? He said, oh, that, that sounds good, Dad. He said, I think I can eat in this stuff. So, anyways, bear with me because I'm going to uh, try to make a video. I've got a problem. Now, this is one thing I hate about raising goats or goat farming, if you want to call it that. So, don't mind the vehicles in the background. Um, we just had somebody come by and ceramic coat our vehicles. And uh, this is first time you guys see my new truck. I haven't talked about it. I don't like talking about stuff like that. But when you do videos and you do vlogs and stuff, it's just a matter of time before you guys notice it. So, yes, I got rid of the Jeep. You guys know I got the Jeep Wrangler. I was always a Toyota guy. I tried the Jeep. Didn't work out for me. Had it about six months. Started having issues. So I went and traded it in and got a new Tundra. So anyways, that's a whole nother video, a whole nother day. So you guys know we've been dealing with the stinking goats that keep getting in our yard. They're jumping the fence. This is where Mojo, this is where Mojo goes over the fence every day. Well, years and years of him going over the fence, he finally broke it down to where there was a hole in the fence and some of the goats were coming through, jumping in the yard, all that. I thought I just seen one a while ago, but she must have jumped back over. So, anyways, I got tired of it and I patched the fence back. I patched the fence back to like it was. I went and cut an old piece of fencing to match it, wired it all up. The goats couldn't come in and out the hole that Mojo made, but then Olaf, the little white goat, and then uh, one of the other ones, I don't know where she's at. We'll go find her probably here in just a second they could still jump over the fence. So they figured out the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. So they kept jumping over the fence. And uh, one thing they're doing is eating my fruit trees. I'm gonna take you guys over here. We'll, we'll make a video one way or not. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but uh, bear with me here. I'm fixing to go check on Russell. Russell is doing excellent. I gotta show you what they're doing to my trees here. So this is a cherry tree. They're eating all the, as soon as the leaves pop up, they're starting to eat it. But this is a cherry tree. Let me show you what they've done. Look at this. They're eating the bark off, which will actually kill it. So here's an apple tree that's a few years old. Look at them, they're, just, they're, they're very destructive. Very, very destructive. This is a plum tree, they're doing the same thing. This tree's got some bagworms on it. We need to get rid of those. Nasty bagworms, get out of there. I need to spray it, I guess. Don't need no bagworms, that's for sure. All right, so I think I got another goat running around the yard somewhere. We're fixing to go find out. Oh, I see Mr. Russell, look at him. He hears me over there. Look at him. Oh, he just went behind the beehives. Russell is working out good. He's been training every day with mom and dad. He hears me talking. You don't know where I'm at. Oh, now he sees me. You better not get by those bees, Russell. You're gonna get stung. Cora's in the background being like, acting like a puppy. I don't know what, she's playing with a tennis ball. All right, I finally caught her in action. You see that tennis ball right in front of her? It's green to the right. She takes the tennis balls from Russell and uh, she goes and hides them and like tears them up. What are you doing? Are you hungry, Mr. Russell? I thought there's a goat in the yard, but I don't see her. You can't come through the fence, buddy. I'll come in. I'll come to you and feed you. I gotta grab some food real quick. So I see Mr. Leesky has some trash again. So what you doing, Mr. Russell? Huh? You sure are growing, buddy. You sure are growing, buddy. Lisky, where do you keep coming up with this trash? Where'd your daddy get this trash? Huh? Where'd your daddy get this trash? You better not uh, start doing that. Hey, I gotta go to town here in a little bit. I'm going to town this evening because I've got to get Mr. Russell a new collar. How about that? What color you want? Huh? You want to stay with the yellow? You want to stay with the yellow? 
He said, I don't care, just come feed me. I might actually see if they got an, uh, like a fluorescent orange or a blaze orange color, because it's kind of hard to see right now. You can see all that grass that's still not quite green yet. He's like camo when he's laying in there, and he's such a little guy still. It's kind of hard to see. All right, so back to the goat problem. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I see one. So there's a little brown goat that runs around. She jumps the fence just like a deer. She's really young, a small goat. I caught her and I cut Olaf, and uh, I'm gonna show you where I put them. Girls, how's Olaf doing? Huh? How's Olaf doing, girls? Is he driving you all nuts because he won't quit crying? Huh? Is he driving you nuts? Come here, Olaf. Come here, Olaf. Hey, girls. So, I had the little brown girl in here, and I had Mr. Olaf in here. And somehow she escaped and jumped out of the fence. And she's been going back and forth to the front pen where she come from. The donkeys weren't quite sure to what to think of Olaf. This was the first time uh, we mixed goats with the donkeys and uh you know they were kind of skittish at first and i thought they were going to start chasing olaf but they didn't they were i think they were just wanting to play so anyways he's a uh, he's he's not happy but uh like i said we're going to be getting rid of him soon because he will not stop jumping the fences and i don't want more and more goats to start doing that once one goat starts doing a bad habit and i can i can speak to this a thousand times you think you, you think you got your goat farm running real smooth and once one goat starts doing something, um, once one goat starts eating dog food, once one goat starts jumping fences, the other goats see them and goats are very smart. People think goats are just stupid and all they do is eat everything and jump on cars and that's not the case at all. They're very smart. They're kind of picky on what they eat. They would rather eat weeds than anything. And... They do like jumping on anything they can jump on, but they like playing follow the leader. One jumps over the fence, the other ones are like, oh, he can do it, I can do it. So I think they're kind of scared at first until one gets brave enough to do something and then they say, oh, he did it, we can do it. So my advice, if you got one problem goat, get rid of it while you can before the others start learning because since Mojo made that hole in the fence, Olaf started getting out of the hole. The other ones started seeing. They started getting out of the hole. I patched the fence. Well, they learned they can get on the other side of the fence. So now they just jump it. So now, instead of getting rid of one goat, I got about four goats I got to get rid of. That goat right here is one. You guys remember about a month ago, she kept getting through that hole. I put her over here and uh, let her stay over here for a little while. She started acting weird. She won't go around the other goat. So I put her back in there. First first night I put her back in the original pen with the other Picos she jumped right back through the fence within 10 minutes so she's a problem goat so we're gonna be getting rid of some goats very soon I gotta wait till the auction comes up Mr. Smeagol you and Skeeter are supposed to do a good job of keeping them goats at bay and making sure they abide by the laws of the farm you know that huh yeah so I don't know if you guys caught that video the last video or not but uh the goats were out in the yard right here and me and Skeeter was walking up here and Snowball actually went after Skeeter and kind of stuck some horns to him. Luckily he's quick and it didn't hurt him but uh, he did yelp a little bit. So let's grab some food. We'll go in with Russell and see how Cora and uh, Leesky's doing and we'll kind of talk about the dogs a little bit. <laughs> hey, what do you want, buddy? There's a nose of chickens. Good on them. Randy, whatever your name is, I can't keep up with the rooster. Alright, so last night when we fed the dogs, Mr. Russell ate with his mom and dad, which I didn't really like that. I'd rather him eat in the barn. You can see he just he just he's just another one of the farm animals. Not really, but the goats are used to him already. You guys seen him grow up with the goats? Oh, you're a big dog, aren't you? Oh, you're a big dog. Look at him. You're a big dog, Russell. You better watch out. 
Are you a good boy? Russell? So his mom, Rachel anyway, not his mom, but Rachel, has been working on a setting with Mr. Russell, and he's been learning how to set. I don't have any treats, or I'd try to show you. Oh, these goofy goats. You just landed on your boy. You just landed on your boy. All right, let me in there, guys. Let me in there, guys. What do you know, little Russell? You wanna eat with mom and dad again? All right, come on. Come on, I got you a canned food. All right, here's our food. We got Russell separated. I got the big dog's food. We got three eggs for all of them. Russell said, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Mr. Russell. He tries to get all food. Here, 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 here. Look, Russell. Okay, he's going to do it. Come on, Russell. 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 Come Come here, Russ. Come here, Cora. You come eat. Come eat your food. Come eat your food. Come here, Russ. You want chores? Here you go, buddy. Look, look at that yummy egg. There you go. There you go. Alright, everybody's got their food. Your egg's in there. Go eat your food, too. So he's a big dog, he thinks. He wants to eat out here with mom and daddy. Get the leaf out of there. Alright, get your food, guys. I'm gonna go feed these goats real quick. So they'll leave the dogs alone. Why are you eating goat food? You don't eat goat food. Come here, goats. So this goat right here, this white goat, she loves to sneak over and start eating the dog food. Now that is one reason I've got to get rid of her. She's about to drive me nuts. See, she's just standing there. So I throw some on the ground, that's what these goats are trying to eat. But what they don't realize is they're really missing, missing out. I'm eating the, the big buffet in there. Get out of here. So you can see little Russ, he, he's, he's, he's trying to learn from mom. And dad, he's a little sponge right now. Even though I put his food on the ground at his level. Hey Russell, looky here, buddy. I got something for you. He wants to eat with mom. He he, he loves mom and dad. He said, okay, I'll try some of his food. I'll eat the egg, I guess. The egg shell. Hey Russ, come here. Russ. No, this is Russell's. You guys eat your food. Nope, there's Skeeter Bug. Come here, Russ. No, oh, he wants to play with Skeeter. So I got a can of food here, trying to trying to teach him. Here, jump. <laughs> Russell. Hey, no, no, come here. That's Russell's. That's Russell's, guys. Come back. Get your food. I know, Cora. There you go. We gotta make sure the little guy eats. <laughs> And then you got you got these uh, vultures here that just I just you guys literally just seen me go in the feed bunk fill up the feed bunk and look that's not good enough they want dog food dog food does have a higher protein in it so I don't know if they get a taste for it and they just say oh that's you know it's better food for us I don't know what the deal is I see back you guys eat your food you got the new food. Russell's got to eat his food. Then you get the chickens that come and eat everything that drops on the ground. So, I'm not wetting the food anymore. I think Rachel does every once in a while. Just wets it a little bit for Russell, the puppy. But, otherwise, we just feed him dry food and he does just fine. This kid said, okay, I'm just going to lay here and uh, whatever boy don't eat, I'll clean it up. 
You better just worry about your own food because you know if you don't eat it, what's going to happen? The goats will come and eat it. Don't be eyeballing his food. Russell's a little guy and he needs to, he needs to grow. Cora's going to town on hers. So a lot of times in the videos, you guys will see me feed and uh, sometimes the big dogs don't eat. Uh, sometimes they will just lay here by their food. Sometimes they don't want to eat till later. Now, I've, I've talked about this a hundred times. I've tried to, to design something, a jump gate. I've tried to design different ways of feeding our dogs where the goats can't get in there and bother them because sometimes the dogs just don't feel like eating. And if you leave the food out all day long, the goats come in and eat it and then the dogs don't get to eat. So then you got to feed them again and sit here and watch them. And we shouldn't have to do that. So I have a goal. Hey, come back. I have a goal trying to design something to where, here Russell, please ski. No. Hey, eat your food. Here, Russ. I have a goal to try to design some way to feed my dogs where the goats cannot get in there. Hey, I don't know. Come on. Lisky, no. I think I need to start feeding Russell back in the pen where he grew up in because Lisky never would really bother him. Look at him. Get out of here. Come on. Eat your food. So, this is part of farm life. This is uh, what you got to deal with. When you got goats and you got dogs, there's always something that don't go well. So, there we go. And now we got now we got the big dogs trying to eat the puppy's food. Here. Here, Russ. Are those chickens uh, mem mesmerizing? Huh? Are those chickens mesmerizing to you? He said chickens don't eat my mama's food. Mm -hmm. And then you got all the vultures that just stand around and watch. I think little Russell's fuller. He'd, he'd, he'd keep eating. You want Daddy to clean your food up? Or you want me to take this in your uh, in the barn? All right, I'll take this in there. We'll take it in the barn, and uh, if he wants to eat it, he'll have it in there and in his pen. Sometimes the goats go in there too, so it's not guaranteed it's going to be in there but that's just the reality of it until we can figure out how to keep the goats and dogs separated to where it ain't a problem and it is windy that noise you're hearing is tarp going it's insane windy okay so he still had a whole thing of food out here as you guys can see it gets straw and everything else in it, but from the wind. But he had access to food all day long and he didn't come in here and eat it. And it's almost impossible to keep the straw out of it. Okay, so we'll leave that there. And uh, he's been drinking water in the main, put the main stock tank out front. So we'll just leave this cracked a little bit. Hopefully that will deter the goats from coming in and out. If they determine that they want in there, though, they're going to get in there. They're going to have balls. That's the only thing about the goats. They're very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. What are you doing hiding in there? It's not even cold. Goofball. All right, but as you can see, everything else, the goats are being well fed right now. Look at all you got to do is pan around with the camera. Look at the terrain and there is tons of clover. There's some small batches of clover that's coming on. There's clover everywhere. There is tons of food for the goats. But they want to eat dog food. They want to eat goat food. What do you know, buddy? Did you get, oh, you got egg on your face. You got some egg on your face, little boy. You're growing good. You're doing a good job learning from mom and dad. Yep, very good job. Very good job. So look, the goats can't even eat in peace. So I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on this video about this, but it is what it is. Um, until you've raised goats and dogs together, you don't understand how hard it is to uh, figure this part out. Because they got to live together. If you don't have the dogs with the goats, in our case, they're going to get eaten by coyotes. So 
it is what it is, right? The dogs do the goats a big favor, but the goats aren't very uh, thankful. I guess they don't realize how much of an importance it is that these dogs get very good nutrition to have the energy to fight for them, right? He said, Dad, when I get big, I'm not your dad. I know I'm not your dad. I just keep saying that. He said, when I get big, I'm going to make sure all the coyotes stay away from the farm. Because I'm going to be a big dog. Yeah, you guys are all doing good together. So, one cool thing about this is, he is, um, this field's about 12 acres. All the way around here. Little Russell has free reign to come and go as he wants on this 12 acres. But for some reason, he stays right here. Like, within a hundred yards of the barn he don't go hardly any further um all night long all day long throughout the day Cora and Leesky are barking um they'll see something way over in the distance or hear something they'll start barking they'll take off running and mr russell gets up and barks but he stays right here i don't know about you guys i can't talk dog talk i don't understand barking and all that but i think Cora is telling him hey stay here me and Leesky got it I think that's part of the whole livestock guardian dog training. Um, you know, these dogs know what to do by instinct. Look, look at her. She said, get away from a puppy's food. Good girl, Cora. Good girl. So, there you go. That's just part of it. And he, he found the can of dog food I had over there somehow. He reached through the fence and got it. And he's playing with that now. Give me that. You don't need that, buddy. You don't need that. It'll hurt your teeth. Let's see if I can make it in the bucket. Three points. Skeeter said, oh, that smells good, Dad. You don't need that. Hey, your food's in the barn. Your food's in your puppy barn, if you want it. All right. So, Leesky, this is what he does when he eats. He usually will lay down, and even if he don't eat real fast, he just lays down, kind of chills out, eats his food, and if the goats come over here, they start growling at him, and they'll kind of bite at him to tell him, hey, get away. This is my food, and I'm hungry tonight. But as you can see, the goats are done eating for the most part in the barn. It's not enough. You could get 10 buckets of this food. One bucket is about 30 pounds of food. So I try to feed every goat right now about a pound of food per goat. Does that mean every goat's going to get one pound of food? No. Some goats will get five pounds of food. Some goats will get half a pound of food. If they don't eat, you guys seen the ones that were out here in the yard in the pasture if they don't go in and eat they're missing out but i cannot change that so it is what it is sometimes it's a survival of the fittest if you get what i mean you know the smarter ones are going to strive and the other ones aren't going to do as well but it's it's on them i can only pour the food out i can't sit here and babysit and divide every every one of the goats food up here's a pound here's a pound you know it is what it is look at them hey it's getting really annoying. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let him eat. So anyways, that's just that's just that's just a little glimpse in the day of uh being a goat farmer, I guess you can say. And we you guys have if you've been following us, you know we've downsized quite a bit in both pens and we're even going to downsize a little bit more get rid of some more goats and uh, i don't know we might we might do something a little different um, we'll probably always have goats but we might go a little different direction with some stuff here pretty soon but uh yeah we got a couple over here we're going to be getting rid of pretty soon whenever we get rid of the other problem goats these ain't really problem goats we're just going to get rid of a few over here but anyways this wind is just crazy hopefully you guys could hear me for the most part today it looks like miss cora is full She's over there. She's going to go do, go over there and lay with the goats, I guess. But you can see some of the goats aren't so bad. They're over here browsing around, eating some clover and such. Mr. Russell just kind of hanging out. The chickens are hanging out. we got to go feed Mojo still. So I guess we'll go do that real quick. All right, Russ. Come here. Russell, come here, buddy. You're not Russell. You're Leesky. You're Leesky. Russell. Oh. He said, hey, this bowl's a little lower for me. I guess what I need to do is get another one of these fence line feeders like this to hang on the fence. Because he's already tall enough, he can eat out of this one. This one's a little tall, which I could lower it. But I usually get these at Tractor Supply or maybe Amazon. 
they got those uh, clips on them. You can hang them on fences and it brings up the uh, food in the right elevation for the dogs where they don't have to lay down. Russ, you wanna say bye? I gotta go feed Uncle Mo. So I gotta go feed Uncle Mo, okay? You're doing good, buddy. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Keep training with your mom and dad. Get on, get on, get on. Now you got a vulture speaking up here. Look at her. This is very frustrating. That's the goat that's got to go. She's obsessed with the dog food, no doubt. And Russell's, he's watching this rooster. He said, what is this thing, Dad? Tell me about this rooster again. Now I see a skeeter bug. Skeeter, you ready to go feed Mojo? Alright, let's go. Alright, Mo, you ready to brave this wind? He said, I ain't scared of nothing, Dad. I, I live to eat. I really live to guard the goats, but I love to eat. Well, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Skeeter. Tell him. Tell him. Come on. The wind's blowing in your hair today, Mo. Got your hair all slicked back. Come on. Come on. I'm having a hard time walking straight, too, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lead the way. There he goes. He's excited. Goodness. This wind is crazy. It's crazy, Mo, isn't it? Come on. Hopefully, don't blow his food off. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, let's try to hurry. Let's try to hurry. All right, hold on there. Let me get, let me get these goofy animals fed. Oops, I'm using a coffee can. There you go. Enjoy that. Yes, you only get one egg. All right. So, there you have it. Um, I was trying to wait to make a video because usually in the evenings, the wind dies down, but we got a, a chance of some severe storms coming in a couple days. And usually, if it's a couple days ahead and they're already saying it's going to be severe, then usually that's pretty bad. So, normally before we get these severe storms, we'll have a couple days of this high wind, 35, 40, 50 mile per hour, as you guys can see. It gets intense sometimes. And I'm going to come out here and start filling their water up. And as I do that, I'm going to walk around because you guys know I'm on watch for emu eggs, turkey eggs. It's that time. When they should start laying if they're gonna lay, but I haven't seen any yet. Nope. And in here, a lot of times, um, just about every year, call this turkey barn. Uh, when we originally got turkeys, we kept the turkeys in here. So it's always been called the turkey barn. And usually the turkey hen will come back here and start laying her eggs. So that's why I always try to come look. But not seen anything. Not yet. But on a good note, um, the chickens, the girls, is what we usually call them, they have boosted their egg production like crazy. I guess the bugs and everything's starting to come out, and that, that really helps with the extra protein for egg production. And last night, or yesterday, I think I put like 60 eggs in the freeze dryer, so uh, that'll be good for the family. Have a little backup in case the dogs need some uh, eggs, whatever. 
But the freeze dried eggs are delicious. Um, they make good scrambled eggs. You can cook with them, bake with them, all kinds of stuff. And uh, we, we try to put away some food like that. We got probably like, I don't know, we probably got like 20 dozen eggs already freeze dried in the pantry in mason jars for long term storage, like 20, 25 years. And we just keep adding to it. But uh, we always save them if we got them for a rainy day in case something happens and we need them, can't get to the grocery store or whatever. We have them in case of emergency. But we're always adding to that. So I am thankful for the chickens. Um, I've taken a little break on the chicken coop build. The next phase is I got to put a chicken door in it, got to paint it, and then we'll build the uh, run around it. We'll put the fence up that will hopefully contain all the chickens because that's the whole purpose of doing this chicken coop is to keep them out of our yard, out of flower beds, out of the garden, in a dedicated chicken run or chicken coop. So anyways, I see the emus are trying to give if it ain't the goats, it's the emus. Now you got the emus looking over Mojo's shoulder, trying to uh, get a get a little snack. I'm not gonna get the chicken eggs right now. I'll come back here in a minute and try to end this video. I don't have my uh, feed container, my feed scoops. I don't know where they all went. I think uh, we might have left them in there with the puppies a couple times. And uh, anything you put in there with the puppies, Cora will get it. And she takes it out in the field, and then Leesky finds it, and he chews it up. So. I need to go to town tonight and get Russell a collar. I think I'm going to get yellow. We'll see what colors they got. I don't know if they even have yellow. But we'll try to get him a collar that fits. And then uh, I might get some more feed scoops if I can remember. Girls, are you going to lay? Are you girls going to lay in your eggs? So here's the little goat that keeps jumping the fence. You can see how little she is. She can jump the fence like a deer. It is, it is crazy. She's not very big, but she's very, very athletic. And I caught her last night, put her in there with the donkeys, with Olaf. They did fine, but this morning I woke up and uh, she was in there and then 10 minutes later I looked and she's in the yard and she actually came back and jumped back into this fence. So, Ah, that's the fun of uh, raising goats. Once they figure out how to get out of a fence, they're going to get out of a fence. So, all right, Mo, I'm going to let you eat, buddy. This, this wind is insane. Hopefully, you guys didn't get any of this wind or any of the storms that are coming. But uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching our videos, watching this one. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. We encourage you to please leave comments. We love hearing from all you guys. So once again, thanks so much and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.